Hey guys, Miss Sophisticated here, coming to you with a um, video. Um, this is on. I don't know what I'm gonna title it yet, but it's basically me talking about people who steal from other people and people who rob from other people and think that is cool, think that is okay. It's not. I mean, the only reason why I'm doing this video is because. Um, Tuesday, I saw somebody get a rob. I don't think it was hot, but, I mean, I seen it, and it just, like, opened my eyes a little bit more to the type of people that's really out there. I mean, you see all the times in the news, and you're like, that ain't gonna happen to me. But, I mean, truth of the matter is, it can happen to anybody. And I saw it firsthand on Tuesday. And then, um, Wednesday, I believe. Yeah, Wednesday, I got an email from my school on my phone. I was on my way coming home from school. I was on the train with my friend. And he was there when the, rob the robbery on Tuesday happened. And um, I showed him the email because I was just like, really? The same Tuesday, somebody got robbed right by my school. And then the Wednesday, right after we left school, somebody else got robbed by the same person. So I'm just like... I mean, I know America or New York, whatever, well, America is in, like, a recession state. Everybody's broke. It's hard to get a job and everything like that. But, I mean, robbing people is not the way to go about things. That just shows that you are bum. I mean, you want to be fly. You want to have the latest clothes, the latest phone. As long as your phone is working, you can have a flip phone from next door. As long as your phone is working, it don't really mean anything. To have an iPad or iTouch or Blackberry, you know I'm rocking a Blackberry, but I mean, that don't mean anything. It's just a name, it's just a brand, it's just a title. And then, but you want to go ahead and you want to rock Gucci and Louis Vuitton and Burberry and all that, and you want to rob people. I mean, you're not fly, you're a bum, you're not fresh, you're straight bummy. Like, to me, I just don't understand the concept of you taking something that somebody else bought with their hard on earned money. I mean, they probably got a job, most likely they do, and they're supporting themselves. Why can't you get up and look for a job to support yourself? I mean, I know the economy is horrible right now because I'm looking for a job and I can't get one. But, um, I mean, there's other ways to make money than to rob somebody else's money. I mean, not the money, the things they bought with their money. And then the email that I got from my school said that the person is armed and dangerous because he has a silver revolver gun. And I'm like, not only are you bummy, you're also punk. I mean, excuse my language, but I call them punani niggas because they just not... I mean, you don't have the guts enough to just sit down there and rob somebody. You have to use a weapon to do it. I don't know what kind of sense that makes, but um, that's what they do. But yeah, I just wanted to make this video because, I mean, after seeing what I saw on Tuesday, I'm kind of, um, when I'm riding the train, it's, I don't know, I don't want to take my phone out anymore. And this is my phone. It's just a black body bowl. And... I don't even take it out no more. I just leave it in my pocket. When I get off the train, I just read the messages. I don't put my hand in my pocket. I mean, I don't listen to my iPod or nothing. I just sit there and just look around at people. And you also got to be careful about who you look around at because if you look at somebody too hard, they just might snap at you. So, I mean, seeing what I saw on Tuesday was a clear, clear eye-opener. For me, because I mean, the person I got robbed was sitting right across from me. That could have been me if my phone was out. If I'd have two boys sitting out next to me, I mean, you know, stuff like that happens all the time. It happens to anybody. 
and we always say, you know, oh, that ain't gonna happen to me, they know better, and especially African American females, they got that, that, that little ghetto attitude mentality, like, uh uh, that ain't gonna happen to me, he ain't gonna rob me, he take my things, I'm gonna set it off. Yeah, no, mm -mm. that's exactly how they be acting. It is like it can happen to anybody. I mean, the girl who got robbed, she was white, but I mean, it can happen to anybody at any time. So, this is a caution to anybody who's on the train, the bus, looking on the street, just keep your things, I mean, in a safe place. I do recommend your pockets. <laughs> Not your back pockets, your front pockets, your side pockets, whatever you want to call them. Um, I I do that. I keep my things in my pockets just because my concept of my mentality, and you could correct me if I'm wrong, but in order for somebody to rob me for something in my pocket, they got to get really close to me. And when I'm on the street or when I'm on the bus or the train or whatever, I'm really iffy with people being... <laughs> I'm like, if you people being that close to me, I'll always shift over, or, I, I'm like, I'll get them, like, a clear indicator, like, back up, because you're too close, so, that's why I keep things in my pocket, you might feel comfortable keeping things in your bag, which, um, my concept on that is, they could just grab your purse, grab your bag, grab your briefcase, your clutch, yeah, I'm somebody crutch, I don't know why, but your clutch or whatever, they could just grab it at any time and everything you have is completely gone so my phone is always in my pocket just because for me in order for you to get it you gotta come next to me touch me dig in my pocket and I, by that time i already feel you so i mean but yeah this video is just made as an eye opener to the two people that's out there and even though you may think this cannot happen to you it can happen to anybody so as i said i was sitting here or oh, here and the girl was sitting like right across over there and the boy that robbed her ran right in front of me and all his friends ran off the train so i mean it could have been me you know could have been anybody else but I'm just saying this to say, be careful with your surroundings, be careful with the type of bummy people out there who steal other people things, because in my eyes, they just bummy, and if you steal other people things, it just makes you bummy, like a straight up bummy, might as well live on a cardboard box on the street, because they just bummy, and the people who steal other people things, and have a weapon, a knife, a gun, a box cutter, a whip, I don't know. But that just shows that you're not brave enough to rob somebody. You just want to threaten their life to get what they have. Bummy and Punani, as I said before. But yeah, this is my little video. Um, If you want any other videos on me talking because I like to talk yes so if you want any videos my sister's rude she over here clapping or snapping whatever she doing but if you want any more videos of me talking and expressing my feelings on certain topics you can just leave it in the comment box below or send me a message or comment on my page or whatever but this is it for this video, and I'll see you guys next time I make another video. Bye.